Welcome back to the World Go Channel. I'm your host and Go Evangelist James Story. This is Lesson 2.1b. So this is a continuation of Lesson 2.1. These are capturing techniques. We're going to study three capturing techniques in this lesson. We're going to study the ladder, which uh, in Japanese is also known as Shicho. So you may hear some people call it Shicho, but a lot of people just call it the ladder. Also a net and a snapback. We're going to th have a throw-in and a snapback. That's kind of cool, really. This is a, that's a tricky one. And then a double Atari. And those, these are ways to capture uh, your opponent's stones. So let's get to it here. I'm going to start with uh, kind of the hard one. The, the tricky one, I think, is the throw-in and the snapback. Now, if you look at these stones up here in the corner, notice black would like to play here. Because that way, if white plays there, that's self-capture, isn't it? They haven't suffocated black, but we check the white stone, and it's suffocated. Or if black play, white plays here, they put these black stones in Atari, but black can just capture, right? All right, so that's where black would like to play, right there. Now remember, many times in Go, your best move and your opponent's best move are exact same point on the board. And if you can't figure out what you should be doing, try to figure out what your opponent should play would play if it were their turn and then play there. So you see here, if white plays in here, they put these two stones in Atari, don't they? Now black captures, but when they capture, notice this group now just has one liberty. It had two liberties, now it just has one. So white can come back in and capture these three stones. That's pretty neat, isn't it? Notice it doesn't violate the rule of co, because the rule of co says you can't duplicate the previous position, but here's the previous position, two stones, Black captures, now there's three stones. So that so white can come back in and play the same point and capture these stones because it does not do they do not duplicate the previous position. Alright, now let's look at this one up here. And uh, this is kind of the same way. Black would love to play here and make an eye for their group, but notice if white gets to play there first, ouch. They put these two stones in Atari and these two stones in Atari. If black captures, that doesn't help black. Because notice white can just come back here and then capture all these stones, all those five black stones. So that once again, that's a throw in. White throws a stone in as a sacrifice. And when black captures, then the trap snaps back on them. And white would capture all these stones. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I like that. Those are easier for me to see on the, uh, on the edge of the board or in the corner here than they are in the center. They're a little hard sometimes to see in the center. Um, let's look at another one here. We're going to set up what's called a ladder. Let's say we have a position like this. And white place here. Okay, so this is the cut, isn't it? So these stones cut the black stones apart, and these two black stones cut the two white stones apart. Usually when you have a cut like this, uh, somebody's going to lose a stone or a group of stones. Notice that this group is pretty strong. It has one, two, three, four, five liberties. This black group has one, two, three. This white group has two. This black group has two. So the two weak groups here for black and white are these two. This is weak for black, and this is weak for white. Notice if black plays this way, Atari, they push white out, and now white gains three liberties. And if they keep you know, trying to go with this, white extends out again, and they have one, two, three, four liberties. So every time black plays a stone, and white plays a stone, they gain liberties. One, two, three, four, five. All right, that's not working for black at all, is it? Black shouldn't try to push them that way. They should use this stone and push them that way. Now they have a white stone in Atari. If white tries to get out, black, they've started the ladder, and black can just put white in Atari again. White would go here. Now they have two liberties, right? They're trying to get out. Black would say Atari. Notice white doesn't have any time to come in here and play Atari because black can capture. White has to keep trying to get out of this box, out of this trap, out of this ladder. Atari. White plays there. Black plays Atari. White tries to get out again. Black plays Atari again. This is going to go all the way to the edge of the board, folks. And these white stones are going to be very disappointed when they find out that they cannot get out and they're going to be captured. Atari. Atari. Atari, white tries to get out, Atari, white tries to get out, Atari, oh, I picked a long ladder, Atari, here, Atari, Atari, 
When white plays here now, notice that black can play here. We've been playing on opposite sides of the formation, coming back and forth. So we played here, then we played here, then we played here for black. But when you get black, white to the second, your opponent to the second row from the edge of the board, you can play that, or you can play this and put them in Atari. Because notice they can't get out. Black can play either side of Atari. When white tries to get out, black plays here, and they capture all of those white stones. Wow. Uh, that's probably game over on this size board. So... So what should white have done instead? All right. Notice they play here. They start the ladder. And uh, black will just continue the ladder and capture all, all of white stones that white wants to be stupid enough to feed to black. What white does instead is they play what's called a ladder breaker. So they're going to play something down in this area of the board that when moved diagonally, you can kind of do this mentally, back to the wall of stones changes the 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 stones changes the the dynamic of what's happening here when white plays this ladder breaker notice if you diagonally moved it back there it would be right there what right and when white connected they would have one two three four liberties so they're not going to get captured so in this case when white plays this ladder breaker because this is a cutting stone black should pick it up so that they reconnect their uh it two two groups into one bigger group one big strong group Notice, however, though, that if black had a stone here, this stone would not be a cutting stone, and it really would not be that important, and black might not even play this move. They might play something else. But because it is a cutting stone, it is important. So when white plays a, a, a ladder breaker, they can play here or here, for example. They could even play something down, down like this. Okay, when white plays this ladder breaker, because this is a cutting stone, there's this cut here, black should pick up. If they don't, let's move the, the ladder breaker a little bit closer here so we don't have to play the ladder out too far, then white can start the ladder. And when we come down and hit this cutting stone, Tari, Tari, white's trying to get it out, black says you're not, white says wait till I hit this cutting, this ladder breaker, you're going to be surprised, black. All right, white, black, Tari, white gets out, black, white extends out, black plays Atari. Notice we've been playing here, 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 here for black, right? That's, what, that's how you play the ladder. Now when white plays here, they connect to this group, to this stone rather, this ladder breaker, and now they have one, two, three liberties that they connect to. So no matter where black plays, black does not put white in Atari. And now we come to uh, another capturing technique, technique, which is double Atari. Notice since, since let's, say white, let's say black plays this one, okay? Now white is back in the ladder, right? If white doesn't do something, black will start the ladder again and, and capture white. But notice that white now has all these wonderful cutting points, and they make a double Atari every time they do it. So they can play, play here and put these two stones in Atari. If black saves one... White simply captures the other, right? Black plays here. White simply captures this stone. And they have all these double Ataris down here. Double Atari, double Atari, double Atari. This is even a double Atari because you put this stone to start Atari and then you can crunch this, you capture this stone. And notice all the cutting points over here too. So Black should have figured out, boy, you know, this stone down here was a ladder breaker and Black should have captured rather than let White get out and connect to that ladder breaker. And once again, this is an important stone because it's a cutting stone. The black stones cut the white stones apart, but the white stones cut the black stones apart too. Another thing black can do is black can play a ladder breaker breaker. So this is a ladder breaker. It breaks the ladder. But this, something along here, for example, breaks the ladder breaker. So now when you come out, we're going to hit this stone. If white tries to run out, they will hit this stone and they will be captured. So those are our Three te capturing techniques that we've gone that we've gone over in this uh, in this uh, lesson. We did the the throw in and the snap back. Oh, we didn't do the net. Goodness. All right. Let's say we have a situation like this, right? And white plays there. Let's say it's like this. And white plays a ladder breaker. This is the net. Okay. Now notice that this is a ladder breaker. So if black starts the ladder this way, they're going to hit this stone. Remember, because we can move this stone diagonally back against the wall here, right? Or if black plays this way, white, white will reconnect to the ladder breaker, also to that ladder breaker. So here, the ladder doesn't work for us. Whether black starts it from this side 
or starts it from this side because of the ladder breaker. Now one thing black can do, of course, as we've seen before, is they can, you know, first play this, but then white, or ladder breaker breaker, but then white tries to get out, can get out, right? Because white isn't in the ladder right now. Black would have to play here or here to put them in the ladder. But black has a better move. Black can play a net. So now, these two stones and these two stones with this one net this stone. Notice if white tries to get out, black Ataris, and when white, white tries to get out this way, black suffocates and captures those three stones, don't they? Notice if black has a stone or two out here on the side, they can play um, uh, not just a tight net, but they can play a little farther off. You know, something like this, maybe even something like that. Let's see here. White goes there. Black goes Atari. White can save this stone, but then black will capture and connect. White goes there. Black plays here, Atari, and then capture, right? If they have a stone out here, they can even, oops, we need that cutting stone. Then black can play even farther out. And you should play around with this and to see how far um, uh, white can get out here. Can white get out of this? You should play around with this, see if they can. I think they might be able to. So maybe this is a little too far out. Maybe just drawing a line here and saying, yeah, that works just fine. And remember, this is important to capture this stone because it's a cutting stone. It cuts, these two stones cut this black group from this black group. Anyway, that's our lesson for today. Lesson 2.1b, capturing techniques. We saw the throw in and the snap back and the ladder. The ladder breaker, we saw the uh, double Atari, and also the net. Anyway, thanks for watching the World Go channel. If you like what you saw, give me the thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe, and uh, if you'd like to leave me some comments, tell me what you'd like to see, what you like, you didn't like, what you didn't understand that I need to explain better, that would be great too. See you next time on the World Go channel.